today we are out getting our daily exercise and today we thought that we would make some string. So we're going to get some brambles today. Brambles tend to grow all over the place. Probably you've got some in your garden that you don't want to be there. And um, this is a clump of brambles here. We'll have blackberries on in the autumn. But for now, we're going to collect some of the stems and you want to go as far as you can, get as long a length as possible. And we're going to collect as many of those as we can. Brambles are covered in tiny spikes as you can see and what we need to do before we get going with this is remove them so i've got an old bit of um uh, cloth something like that fairly thick and what you need to do is grip the bramble and run the cloth along it like this and what you'll do is you'll remove all of the spikes from the plant up and down shake and then you can see that'll be ready to use. So once you've removed all the spikes we're going to bash our stem. You can either use a hammer or a mallet or a big log or a big stone and we're going to hit along the stem really hitting it until the fibres are broken up. Just like that. So once you have um, hit the fibres so they've come apart, there's the soft pith in the middle here and we're looking to gather the outside fibres which are going to be softer. So if I take one piece at a time and if I bend it over my thumb and we can start removing some of the inside harder um, bits and we'll be left with some of the softer, more flexible fibres. So we're going to keep gathering those fibres, these are the ones you're looking for and if you can keep them in one piece, one long piece, that's really good. Here we go, we've got a good pit coming here and this is what we're looking for. And these can be split into smaller individual pieces and we're going to make a collection of those. I've got a good collection of these soft fibres now, so we are ready to make our cordage. I've got two bits here of the soft fibres and we're going to over, start by overlapping them like this so they're just overlapping and then we're going to fold them so we've got a bit of a loop going on I hope you can see that so I'm going to put my finger here to sort of keep this in place and I'm going to start twisting this side so I hope you can see that just twisting this side once I've twisted that side I'm going to keep it in place and I'm going to twist the other side in the same direction. So both times I'm twisting clockwise. There you go. And I'm going to put my finger over and twist this other side again. And if you can start to see, it's starting to turn by itself. And that's what we're looking to happen. So I'm going to give this one a twist all the time you're working clockwise. Twisting. in that side and then it will start to turn and this will be starting to make your cordage. Twisting the top, holding it in place and twisting the bottom and each time you're going clockwise and you can start seeing this twisting together making a nice rope. So here we go again twisting the top, twisting the bottom and then it, it twists on, in on itself. Twisting the top, twisting the bottom and it twists on itself and you can start seeing a nice cord starting to appear. So same again, twisting on the top, twisting on the bottom and it twists itself, twisting on the top, twisting on the bottom and it's twisting on itself and you can see this nice cordage pattern. Now I'm getting to the end of my um, bits of bramble so I'm going to add on another bit of fibre here. I've got another one and I'm just once again overlapping and giving that a twist. All the time twisting clockwise. And the same with the other one. Adding it on, twisting clockwise and we just continue. 
So twisting clockwise on the top. Oh, that one's fallen off. Twisting clockwise on the bottom and letting it roll itself up. Twisting on the top, twisting on the bottom and letting it roll up. Twisting on the top, twisting on the bottom and letting it roll up. And we keep going like that until you've got a good length of cordage. What's exciting about this is once you know how to do it with bramble, it can also be done with a number of other different natural materials, including nettles, uh, willow. I even sometimes have a go with grass. It's a really relaxing thing to do. I'm getting to the end again, so I'm going to add in another fibre. See if we can get a good long one here. Once again, just adding it in by giving it a good twist. And then you can carry on. Our finished cordage, you can either wear it as a bracelet or you could use it as a bit of tug of war. It is amazingly strong. There you go, it's not even breaking, we're giving it a good old pull. Could even make it into a bracelet and use one of the skills we taught you the other day, adding a little elder bead and then you have got a fully natural bracelet you've made yourself. We hope you've enjoyed making your own cordage today. Um, if you've enjoyed what we do, please go to our YouTube channel, Forever Green Forest School, and subscribe. Hit the notifications bell and you'll see whenever we upload a new video. Thanks very much. Bye.